Oh my God! I'm so excited to see you guys. I have a question for you. Doctor Seuss makes up, you know, he uses a lot of made-up words like flibble snarf or hidden weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> What's your favorite made-up Doctor Seuss word? Dick Cheney cardiogram. Dick Cheney cardiogram. <laughs> Everyone loves coffee. This is a Brotherhood of Poland, New Hampshire, coffee thermos. And we, Why are you giving me this? Because it's a nice gift and it. It's a fun show. It's not around anymore, but it's a fun show. And this was not. Was this ca canceled? Yeah, I got. You got the axe early last week. You're kidding. You weren't on it, were you? Yes, I was the star. Where's your teeth? I got them pulled a month ago. What? Did you put them under your pillow? Um, yes, but I asked the tooth fairy not to take them. How much? How much money did you get? I got um ten ten gold coins. Oh, you ten, that gold all, coins? ten gold coins. She got gold bullion for her teeth. That spoiled brat. <laughs> These are James Brolin is Ronald Reagan on CBS Sweatpants. Hey man, yowza! You love Mike Myers? I love. I've made love to Mike Myers, very gently. <laughs> you were privately <laughs> in your living room. Privately very, in my living room. Very privately and quietly. You do it rough when the cameras are there. But <laughs> you're alone. It's oh so gentle. Who's your date? My date is the handsome John Travolta. You know, I saw Kelly Preston, and I, you know, I said, you know, where are you going? And, and I said, <laughs> we're going to Applebee's. You, baby. We're going to Applebee's afterwards in Ventura. If you guys want to meet us there, we got a back booth. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, we need a ride, so we'll wait for you wait guys. Wait for you guys in the parking lot. For you guys, coupling, coupling of and mip, because you're a couple. Thanks. You guys are awesome. Thank you. You. No, you. 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 God, thank you. And we'll see you on the show next week. You guys are booked we'll to the, the show, show next week. Mad TV next Fantastic. week. Fantastic. You do the short sketch. It's going to be great. <laughs> Look at John. Like John's got the oven mitt on. John's got the oven mitt. And he's he animating. Coupling. What a brilliant actor. He's, what, what, you haven't seen anything yet. He brought it to life. Oh, you my God. Oh. oh, my God. Oh. People, people who know. Nice. Oh. So vivid. Thank you. Now put it on there. He's in the hat. So oh, vivid. John I can all the stuff he did. He always does that. That was it. The, uh... <laughs> Talk to some movie stars. Oh my God, we met so many movie stars. They're all coming to Applebee's and Ventura. They're not coming to Applebee's. They are. They, they told us all. A table for two with extra sadness. Get over it, man. But we're still gonna go, right? I don't want. I want to go home. Come on, I'm, no, man. I'm hungover. The day's not go. over. It's it's been so great for me today. Ah! I'm still sick of it. I'm Pat Sajak. Welcome back to Wheel of Fortune. It's Government Worker Week here at the Wheel, and so far things have been uh, well, very interesting. Here with us are Debbie Jane, a photographer for the DMV, and Lewis, a congressional light bulb changer, and Stanley, a monument bird feces remover. Currently, we are trying to solve this famous quotation. <laughs> Vanna, you're looking lovely tonight. Hello, Vanna. And before we left for the break, it was your turn, Debbie Jane. Would you like to solve or spin? I want to solve the puzzle. Give me Liberto or give me that. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> give me Liberto or give me that. No, is Liberto a word? It's a musical term. Stanley. Would you like to solve or spin? I'd like to buy a consonant. <laughs> well, for the last time, you, you can buy vowels, not consonants. Uh, is three a vowel? Okay, for the last time, A, E, I, O, and U are vowels. And sometimes, sometimes Y. <laughs> Colors are not vowels, neither are numbers, punctuation marks, or happy faces. You got it? I got it. I'm gonna have to spin, Pat. Come on! Big Like to solve it. Give me Liberto or give me Dad. No, that's what Debbie Jane said. That's where I got it from. Is she, did she win? No. Moving on. Oh, I know it. I know it. Lewis, would you like to solve the puzzle or spin? I know it, Pat, but I think I'm going to go for the money. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Come on, big money, big money. Yes. Okay. 
Is there an F? You mean a Y? You heard me, Pat. An F. Is there an F? <laughs> no. Oh. Sorry. I was sure it was give me Libert F or give me that. <laughs> Okay, Debbie Jane, it is back to you. Yes, I want to solve the puzzle. Give me liver two or give me death. No. No, that's, that's not it. Boy. All right, that sound means we're almost out of time. I'm going to give the wheel one last spin. Stanley? Is there an L? The L's already up there. Is there a D? The, the D is already up there, too. Stanley, the letters that are up there have already been used. Oh, I thought those were the letters we were supposed to pick from. Well, um, I got it. <laughs> give me livery or give me death. <laughs> wait, wait, wait what, what did you say? Uh, give me Lieberman. Or give me... No, no, earlier. What, the first thing you said. Li Liberace. No, the, you said... The, the, come on. Lobotomy. Try it. <laughs> Try it, Stanley. The, nothing? Lemonhead. L liberty. I'm, I think he said liberty. Did he say liberty? No, I definitely did not say liberty. Fine. Lewis. Pass. <laughs> pass. The, Stanley. I'd like to pass. <laughs> Does anybody want to get in on this, okay? Anyone at all? I'll spin. Yeah! yeah. Oh, there was no more spinning, Stanley. All right, uh, how about we just have Vanna flip the last letter around and the first one of you to read it out loud wins, huh? Yeah. How's that sound, yeah. right? <laughs> See, you mean a bird happy face or give me death. I, I said that. Yeah. What the f I said that? Yeah, I know you said it. What the f- Vanna, what the f- Due to technical difficulty, Wheel of Fortune will no- Smiley face, be seen. Please stand B. Now we bought, we bought, we brought with us my book about me, written by Dr. Seuss, and we were wondering if we could trace your hand in the book. <clears throat> yeah. You have, you have very nice fingers, if I may say so. They're, they're masculine, well yet taken care well of. taken care of. Are you, an, are you a metrosexual? Stop to the touch? No, I'm not. You're not, you're not, you don't go to this bond stuff? You know the answer to oh, that. Oh, my goodness. The night we spent together last night, you were asking me a question. <laughs> I, we understood you and Mike Myers were fighting a lot. It actually got physical one day. You guys started punching each other. Is that true? Well, I don't know if that's true, but I used to ding-dong ditch them in the editing room. We have a gift for you, though, buddy. A Frisbee bought to my skin. It's a new show on Fox. Don't okay. throw it at Mike Myers' head. Thank you. Bye, Spencer. Enjoy, Spencer. That little rat. It's the Lillian Burger Game Show! <laughs> Hi! I'm Simeon Dyson. Hey, do you want to win the hokiest, cornballiest plastic gifts that break when you look at them? <laughs> Today's show is sponsored by the Lillian Burner catalog, filled with such gifts as these USA pants. <laughs> your patriotic pajamas. Just be sure to take them off before you visit Iran or they'll set you on fire! <laughs> and now, here's the host of our show, Jeff Probst! Hey, everybody! Yes, Jimmy, and it really is me, Jeff! Survivor Probst! What the f are you doing here? <laughs> You don't belong on this show. You have money and fame and a reason to live. I am in an S&M relationship with the producer of this show and her husband. I am their slave. And they have ordered me to be the host. Well, Jeff, I'm not into leather. I'm into hugs. <laughs> Let's introduce the contestants. They are all returning champions. <laughs> Rudolph Kuzler, it says here on the card, last time you were on this show was eight years ago, and it looks like you're still into the Smurfs. What's that say? Can I, can I Smurf all over your Smurf? <laughs> so, a little close to that mic there, buddy. Yeah, it's all right. Annetta Bustler, looks like uh, you've brought along a friend. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Tickles. Tickles.
Pickles, that's a little inappropriate. <laughs> hey, Jeff! When I watch Survivor, I run myself so hard, I get splinters! Yeah! That lady's baby is horny. <laughs> Sandy says here you are a giant looking for love. <laughs> Up here. <laughs> um, yeah, I was married, but I became a widow when I made love to my wife on our wedding night. There's a... It's impressive. There's a downside. To... What is it? Well... Buying a condom at a glad bag factory. Come on, my NyQuil and ecstasy is wearing off. Shop, shop, let's get the train moving. All of our contestants will buzz in their answers using their Jeff Foxworthy bobbleheads. Hear such expressions as, you know you're a redneck if your kitchen table doubles as a wake bench. <laughs> get her done. <laughs> Simeon is going to show you a product, and you need to tell us what it is. <laughs> I sure know how to do this. <laughs> you know, that was just like what happened on my wedding night. a redneck if you stir soup with a shotgun. Yes, Rudolph Puzzler. Uh, you're back there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to back off that mother scratching mic. <laughs> now, what's your answer? The brass tack you trade up for a little she and scratch between the teeth? <laughs> This might be a redneck if all you gave your daughter for Christmas was hickeys. <laughs> Jeff Foxworthy is the funniest man in America! Ho, 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 Green Giant. Yes. Is the correct answer the Lillian Verner uh, rocket balloon? That's correct, Sasquatch! <laughs> Let's get to round two, shall we? Simeon is going to wear a Lillian Ferner product, and you have to tell us what it is. <laughs> You're a redneck if you've ever tied your beard to someone else's beard. Yes, Annette Bustler. Hey, Jim, I've already got one hand up my ass. Come on over here and give me another. <laughs> You're a redneck if you to gay bashing. Yes, uh, P5 Fo Fum. Is the correct answer the Lillian Verner lighted brain helmet? Congratulations! <laughs> oh, Bigfoot's gonna blow! Oh, <laughs> hey, Simeon. Tell Shrek what he's won. Congratulations! You won a fartacopia of fart novelty items, including the fart monkey, the fart keychain, the fart whistle, the fart powder, fart candy, and the Zen book of farting, and a bonus, the fart institution of the United Farts of America Fartica. Here's Jeff Probst to say the tribe has spoken. No, I'm not saying that. That's a different show, Simeon. All right, well then say, you're fired. <laughs> you know what, I'm, I'm not saying that either. That's another show. Well then say, what you talking about, Willis? Come on, give us something for our nickel, Probst. <laughs> I got something for you, Simeon. Jeff Probst, out. <laughs> Mike. And I'm Bobby. Bonjour. And uh, what we're going to do tonight is we have a couple cast members that are kind of new to the show. Krista, Krista Flanagan, Flanagan and Arden Murian. Arden Murian. 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 And uh, basically, because they're new on the show, we're going to take them out for a Hollywood night. Hollywood style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're going to have show them a good time. We're going to have show them a really we know good Hollywood. time. We know how to have fun. So yeah. this is Ike and Bobby go out with Arden and Krista. Ladies. Let's do this, girls. Hello. Oh. Oh. Hey, beautiful. You guys. <laughs>
Thank you. Excuse me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's up, man? Hey. How you doing, bro? I thought you guys... Hey, just chilling. I thought you guys were into the limo. It's a Toyota Yaris, 2007. Which belongs to Sir Anthony, Anthony Hopkins. Hopkins. I thought there was a celebrity. Yeah. Very exciting. You guys said you had a driver, too. This is your brother. That's racist. He is my brother, though. Yeah. Can you go get a bottle of water? Right there, over there. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah, go, yeah, go, yeah, go, yeah. go, 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 go. Right. We'll be right back. Okay. All right. Let's go right now. You gotta drive. You have to drive. Wait, you, you drive. What? You have to drive. You have to drive. DUI. I have DUIs. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why can't you drive? I'm Asian. I can't drive. This is it. That's where we're going right here. What is this place? We're going to the hot spot. I said hot wings. What do you think? to blow your mind. Best chicken wings in the universe. Great, we'll get that. Hey, guys. Hi. 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 So, Cal, I'm going to take your order. Hi, yeah. Kelly. And actually, aren't Krista and Artem oh. from Mad TV? Yeah. I love that yeah. show. Thank it's so you. good. Thank you oh so much. Oh, my God. The cat and me. I love no, that. It's okay. so really I'm on the show. I'm on the show. No, American Idol. Was that you? She <laughs> bang. She bang. I love that show. You guys have been here What looks good? Ten baskets of wings! <laughs> oh, Seven look more at coming. that! Seven, Seven more, more coming. Let me try it. Use your own sauce, you yeah. 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 Bring it on, bitch! Did it... <laughs> <laughs> you guys grow up out here? I'm from Nunya Business. <laughs> California. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh my God. You're all right? Oh my God. Breathe. I understand. Uh, you got it. So, did you guys always want to be comedians? You do stand up, right? I do stand up comedy. That's great. I'd like to see it. No. <laughs> Working on the film date movie was a great experience. I love to dance, but the hardest part was learning to crump. Okay, here we are at the dance studio. I'm so excited for my first crump lesson. Come on. Hi, I'm Allison. Oh, uh, what's up? Okay, okay, I'm Noodles. This is Nippy. Oh, you famous. You famous. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. You that bitch from American Pie. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was an American Pie, but, but I'm not a bitch. It's okay. I recognize her right off. She that band camp girl who stuck that flute in her cooch. <laughs> she a great actress. All right, ready? Two, three, four. Pum, 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 that's not the girl. That's not the girl. We just played it. We just played it. You guys got me. Oh, you guys are funny. They were not funny. <laughs> Crumpin' is not a dance. Crumpin' is the breath I breathe. Crumpin' is a way to get all the fuss chasings you got wrapped up inside of you out. Oh. oh well, I, I don't really know what you mean by fustations. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. You're going to pick it up in just a second, all right? All right, check this out.
Sigh. She sighed. the crumb. Apparently, crumping looks a lot like an elbow to the face. Now it's your turn. Come on, you do it with me. You crump with me. You know, I, I don't know if this is quite right, because uh, I'm doing this movie. Yeah, yeah, we know. Date rape movie. Oh, no, no. No, it's called date movie. There's really no rape. No rape. Well, well okay, anyway, it's... it's uh, oh, geez, thanks. Um, it, it's a comedy. No, 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 no. Crump ain't funny, all right? If you want funny, go see Big Mama House, too. Let me tell you something. The crump is for real, okay? You want to do you, you go do your little pretend Hollywood no, crump. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, I get it. I don't it. want it to be Oh, pretend. yeah, I know what you do. It's street. It's too street for you? Yeah, go do no, your Disney I crump. I like the street. Oh, no, do your Epcot Center crump. And I'm an actress. <laughs> it's all about taking risks sometimes, so so I decided to just go for it. Okay. Yeah, do this. Come on. Come on, what you gonna do? Come on, what you gonna do? Yeah, what you gonna do? Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, you feel I, I feel it. I, I'm feeling the rhythm. You feel that? Yeah. Feel that? Oh, yeah, okay. get in there. Yeah. Get in, get oh. angry. Get angry. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. you just wanna... Oh. Oh. Hey, that is not okay. She's all right. I'm all right. That's the crowd. That's no, just the crowd. No. You think you're a big man had to hit a girl, huh? Huh? You think you're all that? Well, you're nothing but a punk-ass clown. A punk-ass clown. Uh-oh, it's time to get grown. <laughs> I broke three of his ribs, but hey, that's the crump. That's just the crump, bitch. Here on Mad TV, I would like to uh, speak specifically to my Hispanic friends in the audience. So, hola. <laughs> to all you Mexicans, and hola. Also, to all you others who, who look Mexican, but are from Mexico type places that aren't Mexico. Let me say to you, those of you who, uh, speak Espanolish, <laughs> that you're in for a real treat tonight. Like something you might find in a piñata. <laughs> but don't, don't be swinging at each other with sticks. The treat's right here. <laughs> and don't swing at me either. Because I will be talking the Espanolish with you the entire time. So it thrills me Nachos Belgrande <laughs> to be able to be here speakifying your language and pretending not to be afraid of you. <laughs> So let's open up El Flora and take some questiones. Uh, which for those of you who aren't uh, bilingual, that's Spanish for uh, questions and quotation marks. President Bush, I think you are the best president ever. You are smart and a mucho good Spanish talker. How come you're so wonderful? Signed, George W. Bush. Uh, you weren't supposed to read the part where I signed my name. Non amigo. <laughs> Next up, questione. Lady in pink. Hi, Mr. President. What Hola. is your favorite movie? What's my favorite movie? Huh? I like the new ones. Uh, the Memoirs of a Geisha. <laughs> they can make that Bobby look, Lee look pretty, can't they? <laughs> sure can make that Bobby. And even though it has the word gay in it, I'm okay with it. It's just Bobby Lee dressed as a girl. Nothing's gonna happen. I also like Brokeback Mountain. Memoirs of a Brokeback Mountain, that'd be a good movie, huh? Think about that. God, 
Heath Ledger and Bobby Lee. <laughs> Maybe Heath Ledger's not even Heath Ledger. It's Ike Barinholtz playing Heath Ledger. <laughs> Long, flowing blonde hair. Just a beautiful man. And Bobby Lee comes in like a, a little figurine. But he's animated, you know. And he, he, he just comes in and he... Like, what are you doing here? And then he's like, uh-oh, hot dog. <laughs> What's going on, muscle shirt guy? Mr. President Bush. I, I might have say, uh, if we needed some extras for that broke back memories of a geisha. <laughs> not saying you have to do anything in it, just walk in the background. <laughs> I mean, if there's some, if there's like some hokey pokey going on, just maybe you walk by like, hey. Something like that, check it out. Not too much though. I was curious, what's your favorite hot dish? If I was in that movie, it'd probably be you. Walked into that one, didn't we? Uh, President Bush, uh, can I ask you a question in Spanish? Sure. Uh, okay. Uh, my question is: <clears throat> ¿Usted puede explicar su posición en social security con todo detalle? Eh, por ejemplo, ¿cómo beneficiará a americanos medios para tener un plan de pensiones autodirigido en comparación con la estructura actual de la pensión? Social Security. That wasn't Spanish you were speaking. And it's Social Security Dodd. Rest of it, you're speaking a foreign language like French, German, or Canadian, Afghani, or something. I, I don't know what your language is. It's a beautiful one. But it scares me a little bit. Uh, Remember, I'm your friend, and I'm also at your cerveza. Ah. Good night on Drink Up! Oh, no. Oh, hell no, man. <laughs> See this man right. Yeah, okay, all right, yeah. Hey man, hey man, hey dog, hey man, ain't you that dude on that show with all them jungle people running around? <laughs> and you know they be living in that dirt and eating each other. <laughs> That's you, right? Yeah, man. Hey, yeah. Hey, man. Hey man, hey what hey, what's that show called, brother? What's that show called? I said survivor. Survival. That's right, survival. That's the show, man. <laughs> That's good, man. Hey, man, that's so take television up to a whole novel level, man. That's good, that's good man. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Cause you remember that one time when that one dude had the tattoo and he was running around on fire, and then the girl said, you got to get on up off this island, right? And then she said, you got to stop walking around all naked carrying chickens. Remember that? <laughs> remember that one? I don't, I don't know if I remember that one. Oh, but... you don't remember that one? That was a good one, dog. <laughs> That one was good as hell. You should have seen that one. That was good. Huh. But that's what I, but that's what I'm talking about, though, for real, man. I'm talking about the fact that naked people running around on fire. That's taking it to the whole novel. <laughs> that's survival right there, right. man. I ain't gonna lie to you. All right. Actually, it's yeah. called Survivor. Yeah. Okay, I see. I see yeah. Survivor. That's right, because you got to be surviving. You a survivor yourself. You out there sleeping outside, you know, and then sometimes you got to eat bugs, and, you know, and you living in the, in the elements and all that, and then you got to, you know, you got to wipe your poop on some weeds and all that. <laughs> wow. 
actually, I'm the host, so I'm not wiping my poop on any weed. Dog, you ain't you ain't wiping your poop on nobody's weeds, man. You the host. You ain't doing that. That's the contestants doing that. That ain't you, man. You out there taking to the house. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, man, let me just say this, though, for a second, though. You know, them half-naked girls be standing around out there, right? Yeah. And they all hungry as hell, right? <laughs> and they do anything for a peanut. Anything, you know, right? Right? Any damn thing at all, right? That's what I'm talking about. And that's when you make a move, right? That's when you be trying to hook up with the girls. <laughs> Man, I'm not hooking up. I'm the host. I'm not hooking up with any girls. Well, boy, of course you ain't hooking up with no girls, man. You the host, man. There's just some dirty ass hoes running around. Yo, yo. Yeah. No. <laughs> what? Whoa, they're not hoes. They're my friends. Of course they're your friends, man. You've been on the island with them for seven years. It hasn't been seven years. I know, but, they, but it feel like it, though, right? It feel like it, though. It feel like it been seven years, though, right? It's starting to. Okay. <laughs> All right, I see what you just did yeah. to me right there. Ah, yeah. You took that up to the H N L. <laughs> okay, know? let me ask you something. Look, ask me away. <laughs> H N L. Yeah. What is that? It's a how naba. That's the H N L. You know that already, man, okay? But let me just say this. You probably don't even have to talk to the girls if you don't want to. You don't even got to talk to them. <laughs> I'm the host. Of course, I gotta talk well, to him. Of course, you talking to him, man. And didn't nobody say you weren't gonna talk to him, man. You the one that has to tell them who they gonna kill next week. All right, you know what? <laughs> Let me set it to you straight. We don't kill anybody. Okay. We vote people off the show. All right, so you gonna be voting some people off uh -huh. the show. You ain't exterminating brothers. You just gonna vote them off with a political democracy system. <laughs> <over there. laughs> That's what yeah. took it to the HNL right there. You could just be like, scat, scat, you know, <laughs> and just drop them and kill them like that, but you ain't got to go do that. This America, brother. We ain't just going, scat, you know. You know, just drop a shiv up in the brother, walk off and drop No, you know, we don't get to do that. You ain't got to even do that, man. It's better when you vote it, because you're taking it to a now, strama, now. <laughs> You know what? I got something for you. Break it down then, brother. Would you please break it down? You and your H&L, right? Yeah. Check this one out. Okay, give it to me. R. All right. F. Break it down. B. Uh-huh. M. Okay, I don't know what that means. Break that down <laughs> Let me. Let me tell you what All it right. means. R-F-B-M. Really freaking bugging me. Okay. <laughs> Okay. okay. Okay, you got me good on that one. You got me good. Good. Right, man. That's good. That's good. Right. Oh, you took the R F B M to the H N. Yeah. Hey, brother, can I ask you one question, though, man? Hey, can you sign this paper for me, brother? Just, you know, real quick, man. Yeah. Make that out to a brother like me. Eugene? Pal. All right, <laughs> you know. yeah. Right. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah, man. Hey, pleasure talking to you. Pleasure right? talking yeah. to you, my brother. All right. Wait a minute. Hold on now. Jeff, Jeff Probst. Probes. <laughs> Probes. That's oh, my name. Oh man, I, brother, I thought you was Matt Fox from Lost, man. <laughs> I thought you were growing your hair Matt in. Fox. I didn't know. Yeah. That's an insult to me. They stole their show from us. Oh, oh, you know what, Eugene? I'm done with this, man. Oh, I'm man. sorry. Oh, I got, dang, matter of fact, just, give me that back. Oh, oh, and I'm taking your damn pop oh, too. He took my pop. <laughs>